as you step into a throw, just like throwing a baseball or anything else, you push into the ground and the ground pushes back. Thank you, Isaac Newton, for your third law. And the harder you push into the ground, the harder it pushes back. You can use that ground force to translate your linear motion of stepping from your left side to your right side. I'm talking about a right-handed backhand. You can use that, that linear change of momentum by pushing into the ground to produce angular momentum. You want to turn linear into rotational. That's the whole game here. You're trying to rotate as quickly as you can. With a standstill, it's not easy to get to the, to the dominant side, to your right side, and rotate really quickly unless things happen in sequence from the ground upward. And the thing I like about Brian's method is by the firing of the left leg and the left hip, it gets the most important thing, the brace, firmly initiated. And if you're in the correct position with your arm, then you that pulse travels up the body with the end result being that the shoulders turn, the arm pulls through, and then as the hips stop turning, the shoulders slow down, the elbow speeds up, and then the hand speeds up and you release. It's a concatenation. It's a kinetic linking from the ground up.